Hi again, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm. Just with a little home project here. This privacy screen behind me, which I, I love the look of it, but honestly, the thing I like the best about it is just how easily you can put it up or take it down as your needs suit you. Because this rail here stays in place, but the slats are loose stacked into the rail. So all you have to do is remove the slats or put them back in, and in a matter of minutes, you can change your whole area. The whole thing is put together with easily obtainable dimensional lumber from your local hardware store. Let me show you how I put it together here. This is the area before we begin, very much a work in progress. We're starting to do the painting now and cleaning up, and we have some furniture waiting to go in. The reason why we want to separate this is to divide the living area from the working area of our farm. Over there at the greenhouses, we often get visitors and guests coming in, and we just want to divide that from our living area here on the back deck. For the rails, I'm just using cheap dimensional lumber, 1x2s and 2x3s. I'll show you how to attach those in a minute. Cutting them down to a six foot length because once I install this vertically, that's the height that I want to be able to stack the slats into. Applying some glue here to the broad side of the 2x3, and then I'm going to take a 1x2 and lay it on edge right at the back edge of that 2x3 and clamp it down as shown. With that 1x2 clamped on both ends, I'm now going to roll it forward and apply a screw through the back edge of what will be the rail. Uh, that's the side that will be facing the post, so you'll never see these screw ends again and uh, it'll keep it nice and secure once I take off those clamps. Just before I apply this second one by two that will make up the second rail, I use one of the slats, one of the slats that will eventually be one of the horizontal portions of this screen, just to get the spacing right. You can see I'm putting in a ruler there, just to create a little extra space so it'll slide down that channel perfectly. And once I have that applied and clamped, then I'm going to roll it over again and apply screws to keep this second rail secure. With all those clamps removed, this is the eventual shape of the rail. And what I'm going to use is a scrap piece of 1x3 and just trace it out so I can match the shape of the bottom end of what will eventually be my rail. And once I've cut that down to match the shape, then I'll apply it with screws to what will be the bottom end of my channel. It's not too pretty, but it won't be too visible either once I have it all put up. And finally, before I install the rails, I'm going to put a coat of black paint on them, just so they'll be a little prettier. And to the back deck now, I'm installing the fully assembled black rail onto the post of the house, just making sure that it's completely level vertically. I install a second rail on the other side and then slide a slat in and check that it is now horizontally level. And that's pretty much the whole setup. I'm going to use these little blocks I cut from 1x2s as spacers and then I'm going to begin stacking the boards. Uh, nice and easy, but even better if you can get somebody else to help you out with the other end of the board while you're putting them in. And because I'm installing two channels here, I'm going to put a channel up on this side of the post as well, and then repeat all the other steps. Well, here's how it looks all dressed up, and it fits in nicely, I think. Uh, Lisa went ahead and finished up the painting above and on the uh, posts as well, and then uh, dressed the rest of the back deck here uh, with uh, patio furniture. And so to me, it looks uh, fantastic. I'm gonna really enjoy this area. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions about this privacy screen, let me know, and I'll try to answer those in the comments of the video.